North Dakota has been called the Saudi Arabia of wind. With the support of Senator Byron Dorgan and the Department of Energy, that wind is being turned into totally non-polluting fuel for this nation's cars, trucks, and farm machinery by the men and women of the Basin Electric Power Cooperative. And you can see it in action today. Wind energy from two Nordex 1.3 megawatt wind turbines near Minot is metered onto the grid and metered off at the North Dakota State University, North Central Research Extension Center. Here the electrical power is converted to hydrogen using a commercial electrolyzer from Hydrogenics of Belgium. Electrolyzers use electricity to efficiently separate the two atoms of hydrogen from the single atom of oxygen that make up water. The hydrogen is compressed to 6,000 pounds per square inch, or 400 times atmospheric pressure, for storage in six large metal cylinders. The Minot facility is capable of making over 64 kilograms of hydrogen a day equivalent to 64 gallons of gasoline or diesel, and all without releasing a single atom of carbon. A hydrogen dispenser fills four vehicles at the Minot Wind to Hydrogen Research Facility. Fueling is as simple as putting the nozzle into the vehicle's tank and opening the valve. The four vehicles have been filled up hundreds of times in two years of testing. Three standard Chevrolet Silverado trucks have been modified to run on hydrogen as well as gasoline. Switching between fuels is as easy as pressing a button. When running on hydrogen, the exhaust is 99.7% pure water. A Caterpillar Challenger diesel tractor provided by Butler Machinery Company has been modified to allow up to 60% compressed hydrogen to be combined with the diesel fuel. Carbon emissions are reduced in proportion to the amount of hydrogen added. This tractor works just as hard on diesel fuel plus hydrogen as it does on diesel alone. But it emits far fewer greenhouse gases. It's an impressive demonstration. Wind energy being converted to run existing trucks 100% on hydrogen with no carbon output and farm machinery operating with a 60% smaller carbon footprint and it's been happening for over two years. The dream of reduced carbon emissions and reduced dependence on foreign oil is real. Hydrogen fuel for transportation is not the future, it's here today. For more information, please go to assemblon.com. Click on the wind turbine to get more details of the Basin Electric Wind to Hydrogen Project in Minot, North Dakota.